Hey everybody, Mike here with EverythingAboutConcrete.com. In today's video, I'm going to show you how we form a circular hot tub slab. But before I get to that, just let me say if you if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, go ahead down there and hit subscribe. My channel is all about concrete work. We do a lot of decorative concrete. We do stamp concrete, staining, a lot of concrete slabs, pool deck sidewalks. Uh, I show you how to do a lot of forming steps and stuff like that. So. If that's the kind of thing you like, then go ahead down there and hit subscribe now. So what we're doing is the general contractor kind of laid out the look of the way they want this slab on the on the rocks there, as you can see. So it's about an eight foot around circular hot tub, and then they have a small section of it for the for the utility area of it, and then one little step to get up onto it. So right now we're we're forming up the circular part. And to do that, we're using a PVC 1x8 board. It's, it's just like a board called AZAC. And up here in the north, the northeast, AZAC is used for trim on houses. Because um, it's basically indestructible and it doesn't rot and all that. So we use it for doing our curved forming. So it is pretty expensive, but it lasts a long time. You can use it over and over again. So as you can see, we started on that one side down there and, and we got one stake in. And now we're just checking our diameter. They want this slab about four inches wider than the actual hot tub itself. So we're trying to get the diameter in place and then we can play around a little bit with the, the actual circular part of it to get it to look right. They, they gave us a crushed rock base. Under that crushed rock is ledge. It's just pure rock. And it's all different heights under there. So sometimes those stakes will pound in pretty easy. And sometimes we'll pound in a couple inches and hit one of those big rocks. Now it's starting to rain as we were doing this. So we, we put up our tent so we could keep working. We're going to get this thing poured today too. So that's going to be part two of this video. Be coming out after this one so you're going to want to stay tuned for that but part one is just getting the forms right so the 16 foot piece of azac wasn't quite long enough to do the whole circular part for us we needed about another foot so we're just adding on a piece of quarter inch plywood to it to get to where we need to go and then we can fasten it to that three-sided kind of rectangle piece that we're putting together right there. Guys, if I mean if you're interested in learning how to do this stuff, especially concrete slabs, I got a course down in the description that teaches you all about how to do concrete slabs. Whether it's a garage slab, a house slab, you know, a hot tub slab like this, a slab for a shed. That course will teach you everything you need to know about doing a slab and forming it, pouring it. And I also have uh, in that course how to power trial so you also learn how to power trial concrete too if that's what you want to do we'll go ahead down there in the description and check that out if you want to learn how to do this stuff so right now we're, we're getting that rectangular part formed up getting the the right size getting the corners screwed together we, we like screwing everything when we do forming we use deck screws those two and a half inch deck screws those things hold really, really tight, and they're easy to strip, too. And we use them over and over again. Years ago, we just used to use double-headed nails, but as we got older, we, I guess we got a little smarter. <laughs> so Luke's getting those corners screwed together. We're going to put a temporary cross piece in so we can get the, this thing square. You can see he's screwing that little temporary piece in. That'll just make it a little easier to square that box. I'm making sure we get all the right measurements. So to square that thing, I'm just going corner to corner, making sure I got the exact same measurement each way. And since since we got that square, now Luke's pinning the corners to make sure it doesn't move. We'll set this all to grade after we get it all pinned and in place. 
but the first thing we got to do is just get it formed up get the box squared and then get the circular part kind of squared up with the box so it so it looks circular and not oval that crushed rock I mean it's it's a good base for a hot tub that's for sure it just it doesn't hold those pins really good so we gotta drive in plenty of pins those pins we use all have holes in them too we buy those at a at a concrete supply store that's right local you can get them right on Amazon though if uh, if you do a bunch of forming you know those make forming really easy a lot easier than using wooden stakes I'll find some of those too I'll put them down in the description in case you guys want to check them out So we're just about done with a small box and we're getting the circular part screwed to the box now. They wanted this slab eight inches thick for this hot tub. So it's, it's going to be plenty rugged enough to hold just a, I don't know, probably like an eight man hot tub. That line you see going in there, that conduit, is just for the electrical to run the hot tub. So once we get that pinned right there, that piece of the circular, and then we've already pinned that other piece of the circular that connects to the square, then we can, we can stand back and kind of eyeball the circular part and check our diameters to make sure we are actually a circle and not an oval. How many of you guys have hot tubs? Let me know down in the comments. If you don't have one, how many of you guys would like a hot tub? Personally, personally I don't have one. I got a I got a pool though, so I guess that's okay. So again, we're just going around checking, making sure we're all the same dimensions to make sure that's a circle. We don't want the hot tub overhanging part of it and, and not overhanging some of the other. That's the guy we're working for right there, the general contractor. He's just he's checking his electrical. That's going to be so far back from the edge of the hot tub. So once he gave us the okay on all that, we can finish pinning everything. And I'm setting up my laser. If you guys watched any of my other videos, you, you've seen me use that laser before. That's my Topcon RL-H5B. That's the one I recommend using for concrete work. It's a self-leveling laser, so you just set your legs up. Set it on top of your legs, just like that. Hit the on button and it self levels itself and all you gotta do is take your receiver with your grade stick that's my grade stick I got a three foot ruler on that grade stick so I have some numbers to go by and then that's how I use my grade so I'm setting my receiver right to the top of that form I'll find the highest spot on those forms and then I'll raise all the other forms up to that spot then I'll have a minimum of eight inches everywhere you can see it's still slightly raining I mean they called for showers this morning this is probably like eight o'clock in the morning right now um, but it, it kind of rained a little bit longer than what we expected so we we came prepared, we brought that little tent just in case. This particular job right here is probably about, I don't know, an hour and a half ride for us one way. So we wanted to make sure that we came down here, we got it formed up, and we got it all poured and finished in one day. So as you can see, we're setting the forms to grade. I'm holding the grade stick and as that beeps it beeps slow 
if the board needs to come up and it beeps fast, if the board needs to go down. Luke's raising it up just a little bit, then he screws through the that metal pin to secure it. They want this thing perfectly level. They don't want any pitch to it at all. Hey, if you guys are finding value in this in this video, go ahead down there and hit the like button. What that does, that helps me in YouTube, their algorithm, it helps show this video to more people. If uh, if you guys like it, go ahead down there and hit the like button. So we're just about got all the way around this thing, setting it to grade. We gotta put a matter rebar in it. And then we'll be just about done forming this thing up. We got it perfectly level. Everything's screwed to the metal pins. And now we're gonna clean some of that stuff out of there so we can get the rebar in there. You can see Darren's got some rebar. He's been cutting it to whatever Eric, the other guy, has been taking the measurements and giving him the measurements. We're tying that mat about, I don't know, 12 to 14 inches on center. We got those. There's two big rocks inside there. We set those in there when we were pinning the forms. They just helped hold the, the plastic form in place. We just need to put some weight up against the form because it, it wanted to buckle in. There was so much force on it. You can see I just threw one out. Now Eric just threw the other one out now that we got it all screwed to the pins. Well, that's it, guys. That's how you form up a hot tub slab. I mean, whether it's circular or square, we do a lot of square ones like 8 by 10, 9 by 10. I mean the basics are all the same you just gotta get the forms in place screw them to the right lengths get it squared get it pinned somehow have a way to set it to grade like a laser that lasers down in the description guys if you want to get a laser like that I would highly recommend it and then whatever you're doing for reinforcement whatever if you're doing rebar like us or a wire mesh you know get that in there and you're ready to go so again, stay tuned for part two where I'm going to show you how we pour and finish this thing. And thanks for watching.